Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It is April 25th, 2017. Let's take a look at Futurecast Radar. We've got some thunderstorms in the forecast for Wednesday afternoon. We'll move through Tuesday night here and we'll watch this line of storms fall apart as it moves towards southeast Missouri and southern Illinois. Now that will put down an outflow boundary, cooler air rushing out ahead of the storms as the storms collapse. That raises some questions about instability tomorrow. We'll have to keep an eye on that to see how unstable the atmosphere does or does not become. We'll move through tomorrow morning. We'll stop here 10 a.m. and then 1 p.m. We see a band of thunderstorms from Potosi, Missouri back towards West Plains. Another area of showers and thunderstorms over Arkansas and southwest Missouri. And this line will be moving east-northeast at about 50 miles per hour. Now that first band moves into Illinois and weakens. And then the main cold front starts to push into the air. And you see these bowing areas. This is where some damaging wind gusts could occur on Wednesday afternoon and evening, particularly where you see the apex of the bow. Normally that's where your highest winds are. Now this probably won't be exact. This is a model. This is future cast radar. But it does give you a general idea that we're going to be dealing with a line of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Moving to the 7 o'clock, the evening hours, we see this band of showers and thunderstorms, some storms ahead of it. Locally heavy rain falling from this, possibly some hail and gusty winds, small tornado risk over southeast Missouri, maybe southwest Illinois. As we move through the night, watch what happens. We move into the 10 o'clock hour and then the 1 a.m. Storms lose some of their punch as the atmosphere won't be as unstable as you move further east into our area. And we do have a risk for some severe thunderstorms on Wednesday afternoon and night. We may have a tornado or severe thunderstorm watch for parts of southeast Missouri and southwest Illinois as early as tomorrow afternoon. And then we might see another watch issued a little further east. The best chance, however, for severe weather will be from Mount Vernon, Illinois, back towards Cairo, Illinois, and then down into the Boot Hill and then into Arkansas. West of that line, west of that line, a greater risk for severe weather. East of that line, I can't rule out severe weather, but it does look like the atmosphere will be a bit more stable as these thunderstorms push further eastward, let's say Harrisburg, Evansville, Paducah, uh, back towards Bowling Green, Hopkinsville, LBL, maybe northwest Tennessee, a little more stable in here, a little more unstable back here. So we'll keep an eye on Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. Now we do have additional thunderstorm chances along a warm front Thursday night, Friday, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday. Sunday, a cold front moves through. We could have severe weather on Sunday. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Well, locally heavy rain. We could see as much as three to six inches of rain over parts of southeast Missouri and southwest Illinois. Widespread one to three inches of rain elsewhere. We'll keep an eye on where the heaviest band of rain sets up over the coming days. Some spots could actually top six inches of rain between now and Monday. Most likely that would be over south of Missouri, southeast Missouri, south central Missouri, Perhaps southwest Illinois will keep an eye on that. Bottom line is quite a bit of rain in the forecast.